So it's one o'clock and you can hear it's still coming down. Uh, it's, it's getting warmer, it's getting wetter. That's not necessarily a good thing because that means that the avalanches are starting to go off. I've heard, I've heard a couple. Uh, shouldn't be a problem where I am. I picked this campsite quite carefully. Uh, just thinking aloud really. Um, part of the problem is not knowing what's going to happen weather-wise. If I knew that the next couple of days were going to be good, that'd be okay. I could just make my way down the valley, hopefully, without too many problems. And if it did prove impossible to exit lower down, then I would still, I mean, it's not something I'd look forward to, but I could still have a crack at going back up the gorge. Uh, the problem is not knowing, because it could, based on the evidence of the last five days, it could just keep snowing like this day after day after day. Uh, it's not entirely academic, because um, a couple of years ago there was a party of Russian white water rafters that got trapped in a gorge, and only one of them survived and they had search parties out looking for them so uh, yeah I think realistically given the food situation I'm gonna have to go for it tomorrow whatever the weather's doing and just try and make my way downstream I'm just kicking myself up the arse for not doing another couple of hours yesterday could have because I mean for all I know I could have been in a in a, a really good position by the close of play you know just just strolling out onto the grasslands along a, a nice wide valley floor but unfortunately there's just no way of knowing um, I chose this stop point based on valid criteria clean water safe place not not a problem as far as rockfall and avalanche uh, and I just kind of assumed that I'd be able to continue the next day um, it's the 20th 20th of June uh, there was snow on the tent this morning up on my little ledge but it was the first day in a week that it wasn't actually snowing although it has tried to in the last hour uh, apologies for not filming my tribulations of the last hour I was up at quarter to six and I was away at six just as it was getting light uh, and uh, made it, I think, through the river. Um, looks like it's all easing out now. I've seen a couple of isolated splotches of yak dung, so there's obviously something getting in here somehow. And it looks to me as though over the way. I'm just going to be on pasture land, so uh, you can just see around the corner where I've come from. It was uh, quite committing. I came down a scree slope, but to be honest, I don't think I could have got back up. So once I started off, I was basically just running all the way to the bottom, and then uh, got onto a good ice shelf, which took me uh, quite a way down the river. Then I had to get off crossed the river because the ice shelf had gone and then re-emerged the ice shelf reappeared on the other bank and I had to go up that with the axe and the crampons up a big slab that had cantered down at an angle and then after that it was plain sailing came across and then I've just been on this rolling grassland since so it was uh, worse than I'd hoped but better than I'd feared so that's where I came from uh, the river bends round to the left as it goes up river uh, going to the east and it descends towards me through a very steep rocky gorge and I was basically perched on a, a ledge uh, certainly over a hundred foot above the gorge um, and not entirely sure what came next and what did come next was this in that you round a bend and then the river's still in a gorge but it's much lower and much wider and it adopts a, a braided stream morphology and uh, at the moment because it's eight o'clock in the morning 
it's uh, still quite clean and not too deep but by mid-afternoon once the sun gets on the glaciers that feed it up at the top uh, it'll just be a roaring grey sludgy torrent which is why I set off so early this morning and uh, now I'm just going to be strolling across this pasture land uh, it wouldn't surprise me if there's a, a yurt, a gur, just over the hill because uh, I'm not that far from the grasslands now